Hi. Uh, in this particular slide, I want to talk about <clears throat> about the actual format of appraising statement. And I might add that uh, in the previous module, I forgot to mention uh, that if you want to know everything about the science and art of appraising statements, if you go to my website, article uh, 6.3, uh, you're going to find 15, 1800 words about that. Also, there is a open sesame module on praising statements. Um, but the four things that go into praising statement format. First of all, um, when we give a praising statement, ideally we would we would speak directly to them, ideally in a group even, to sort of give a broader public awareness of, of somebody's got their oar on the water and we're all benefiting because of it. If people are praised tightwad, we're going to come back to those kind of people in a, in, a, in a future next module or two. They don't do this so spontaneously so well. So they may say, realize after thought, you know, that was, I had an opportunity to give somebody a praising statement. I didn't. So I'm going to write it down. I'm going to practice it. And then I'm going to go find these people and later on, and I'm going to deliver it and or publish it. Um, and I'm going to keep working at it until I become unconsciously competent. That means I can do it spontaneously, enthusiastically, uh, from the heart, without thinking about it. It's an automatic habit. And uh, unconscious competence uh, is the fourth level of, 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 a, of, a, of a learning model that we'll take a look at a little bit later on in our mastery section. So at any rate, that's what we're going to do. We're going to, we're going to you know, give it to them, ideally in a group, and publish it. Uh, it can be after the fact. Secondly, in this praising statement, we're going to mention the specific task. You know, Joe, thank you for uh, sticking, you know, seeing the leak in the dike and getting your finger in there and staying there all night until help came. So we're going to mention the specific task. There was a problem. Uh, you saw it and, and jumped on it. And we're going to mention the personal qualities, which is you were aware, uh, you stayed late, you did something you didn't have to do, uh, and therefore by taking an ounce of prevention, you're saying to pound, pound a cure. So in that praising statement, we want to make sure we try to mention as many levels of benefits. Like because you did this particular task, it was beneficial to uh, – uh, your department, your process team, your branch, the company, the customer, uh, you know, the supplier of the universe, you go from the micro up towards the macro uh, as, as is appropriate and possible. If all these facts are included, it will, be, it will be received as authentic, no matter how bad the delivery. I mean, again, there are people who are just, they're, they're challenged as far as how they communicate. They, can, they have trouble looking people in the eye. They have people, they have trouble being really, in a sense, nice or saying something positive. And we'll come back to praise tight wads and their issues and, and how they can get with the program. Um, so it doesn't matter how mechanical it is or even if it's on time, it still is taken as good news by the recipient and it's taken as good news by everybody else in the community and it gives them hope the flywheel is moving or the boat is going because more and more people have got their oars in and they're pulling together and so forth. Um, now what you can do is you can take a four by six file card and you can create a simple little uh, form on it. It's like, okay, what happened? Uh, who was involved, what personal qualities they bring to bear, and so who benefited. And you can fill it in. And you give these to managers and say outside salespeople, and their job is to run around and fill these out. And it can serve two ways. It can be catch us doing things right slash wrong. So if somebody's upset, you can say, wait a minute, you're upset, so what happened? Who probably made this bad thing happen? What did they not do to make this bad thing happen and so forth? And how did it hurt you? What's the total economic cost to the, to the ecosystem because of this service deviation or problem? Those get fed back to the service manager uh, and they get disguised. So we're not going to give put the spotlight on the player like in the NFL they'll say offsides number fifty six you know it was offsides they they actually you know announce the player and the number who had the had the infraction the whole the cameras look at the guy and so forth we're not going to do that we're going to disguise the case and make sure the heroic recovery was done and the lessons were learned and the systems were tweaked and so now everybody systematically knows what not to do in the future and repeat the, the mistake. So um, 
that's uh, th those are the four aspects of a, of a statement. Create four by six file cards, assign quotas, and start generating your um, uh, your stream of, of, of good news bullet, a stream of small wins that goes in the good, new, good, good news bulletin. Thank you very much.